okay, we're out of maintenance. Um, already went downstairs, flush condensate drain for the, the coil, check the capacitor on the blower fan. Um, today, what we're working on is uh, you know, this, this unit is from 2002. It was made 25th week, 2002. It's uh, a Bryant 3 ton. Um, I've been maintaining this unit for maybe the last five, six years. Every year I'm out here. And uh, right now it's a little dirty. As you can see, there's some dirt in there. You gotta get the fan taken off, everything cleaned up. Um, let's pull the disconnect on it. Check and gotta check my connections. Make sure they're nice and tight, but if you look down there, it's a little dirty. Not too bad. I, you know, I maintain it every year, so it's expected to get a little dirty. But it's not. I can see the base pan, and it's it's not that bad. But by the time I'm done with it, you're not gonna have anything down there. Uh, we gotta clean the coil off. Right down here, we got mulch and some pine needles. I think they removed two trees here. They used to be right here. So this is nice in a way because it'll give me some more access to it. But as you can see over there, got some cottonwood on there. Not too bad. Just getting ready for the season. And I'll shoot a little more video once we get into it. Okay, now we're back here. And if I look at my contactors, the contactors are really good shape. Uh, no pitting, burning, or anything on these contactors. Uh, the reason why is, you know, we got to check, check, make sure start capacitor is working. That, that plays a huge part in uh, contactor wear. Uh, also with just regular capacitors too. So let's see. Uh, can't remember what this one's rated at, but we'll look and see. And this is uh, 275 microfarad. I know that's more than enough for this unit. So our start capacitor is good. Then we have, instead of a dual capacitor, we have two single capacitors, one for the fan, one for the composite. We just replaced this one back uh, about a year ago. So let's uh, check it out and see if it's still good. Supposing it is. And it is 45 feet. That is good. We we're supposed to place, replace it with a single, but we put a dual on there. I just don't use the fan side of it. And with a uh, Bryant carrier, usually, uh, you know, wires kind of match. Okay, yellow to yellow, yellow black to black, uh, blue to blue, you know, pretty much color-coded where the wire goes. Um, this is a two-stage unit, uh, so it does have a high-stage contactor, low-stage contactor. Uh, this is a, I think this is a Bristol compressor. Yes, it is. And this is the compressor, and low stage will reverse and only pick up uh, one cylinder. Uh, so let's check our fan capacitor. So this is supposed to be a 5.5. 
five. Let's see what we got. Four point eight two. We're within spec. sure you do it when you have the power off to it. <laughs> just just for safety. Um, let me go over to the disconnect. I got a little uh, tape wrapped around this one because I am going to put this on live wire. Um, just look at the fuses. We're uh, fused at 30. I'll look at the rating. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be fused at 30. But here's my line line side. It says line, so that's coming from the house or, or uh, the meter. And here's my load side. Uh, we just want to make sure to uh, make sure these are nice and tight. Loose connections can cause resistance. Can cause resistance. Like, there we got a little turn on that one. Uh, nothing on that. Okay. If we have resistance in the wire, what happens is it'll start heating up and then it'll start blowing fuses. And then it could damage the compressor, it can damage a condenser fan motor. So connections are very vital that you make sure they're tight. And also the proper wire size too. Don't want to run 14 gauge wire when you're trying to pull 30 amps through it. Impossible. It'll never work. It will until it fails. Okay. So, let me start this thing up really quick and get a few amp draws. And then we'll get it cleaned up.
injury on the fan. So incoming I should roughly have a little over 10. Pretty darn close. So what's the fan rated at? Fan's rated at 0.8. I'm at 0.6, so I'm good there. Uh, compressor's rated at point or 14.1. I'm at 9.8. Really good there. Um, so that's kind of running through checking capacitors, checking contactors, checking connections. Double check yourself. I did have a wire loose that I didn't pay attention. So make sure you put your connections back where they go. Check, like I said, check all your connections for tightness. Check your disconnect. Uh, the wires for tightness because uh, if not you cause resistance and ruin something so let me stop the video here and uh, let me get this thing cleaned up clean the coil clean the base pan uh, check my pressures and then we'll go from there I already took a temp drop downstairs I'm already at 20 degree temp drop and I'm, I'm gonna assume that this unit's uh, charged proper. Well, we'll get the gauges on it and go from there. As you can see, we got the coil cleaned up. It wasn't that dirty to begin with, it just had a lot of mulch in it. Uh, it's cleaned up over here. Fan blades looking like new. Put a little uh, new bright on them. Come out, you know, they had, uh, when I got here, they had a little, um, you know, just like black residue on them. Uh, could only get so much of the mulch out, but I sprayed the bottom one new bright. Um, got it clean, looking new. Uh, what we got to do now is uh, let this thing run a little bit, dry it off, and we'll get a wax job on it. And then we'll be done with this one. Alright, for this one we're done for today. Had to check my pressures. Pressures are good. Superheat's good. This is a non-TXE. Got it washed. See the shine on it. Give a wax and disconnect. Like I said, this unit's 12 years old. Still in good running shape. Alright, on to the next one.